If there was any advice I have given myself when I first was starting out, it would be that quality storage will be more useful to you than anything else you can make right now. So to anyone interested in starting a woodworking hobby, I recommend building a French cleat wall first. Its construction is relatively simple, a few long rip cuts at a 45 degree angle, and then everything that you need to build to interface with that going forward can be moved, removed, updated, upgraded, redone, or destroyed without any additional hassle. So that's what I'm doing here. After removing the previous furnishing adorning this wall, all of this open space was ripe for filling with quality storage solutions. I used a small set of spacers ripped to the same dimensions to place all the cleats, and then I doubled up those spacers to avoid an outlet lower on the wall. Now begins the more or less improvised section. There are a few tool hangers that I know I want to have, but beyond that, I haven't really made any plans. So for a bit, I'm just putting together boxes or sizing up panels. I'm also leaning heavily on my 3D printer to make efficient, highly specific tool racks. For this hanger, I'm making a place for the large battery chargers, their cables, and the corresponding batteries. Additionally, this will serve as a spot to hang all of my DeWalt hand tools. I used hot glue here because I didn't want to deal with measurements and screws, and I had already done that once on the front. For panels like these, I'm first laying out the tools to minimize the footprint, but also trying to place them in such a way that I can reach for as many as possible without having to move any of the other tools. For things that I'm going to use less often, I'm less worried about it. After the first round of test fitting, I printed out the remaining hangers and a few improved models as well. Some of the squares weren't seating properly whenever the panel was on its cleat. The last thing was to add a small rack for a few rulers. A big part of this leg of the build is standing around staring and thinking of good solutions to hold tools. I actually like the idea I came up with for my hand saws, and it gave me an opportunity to make a cut that I'd never tried before. I'm lining up the saws here to get a rough estimate for the length of stock I'll need, but I end up completely abandoning the estimate and just divided the white oak in half in order to facilitate a growing saw collection in the future. Here I'm prepping the material for the jig I will need in order to make that new type of cut. And here it is, my setup for a cove cut. You can tell it was my first time as I started trying to take way too large of a cut to begin. The front edge was a bit sharp and would be prone to damage, so I'm taking a few passes with a smoothing plane to round it over. A couple of angled rips to give the hanger a slight tilt, and then a few more cuts to make recesses for each saw.
I've seen a lot of similar designs to this hand plane rack, and honestly I can't think of anything better. I made the angled cuts earlier and forgot to film it, but you can imagine it looked like almost every other cut on a table saw. Eventually I'll add a drawer to this lower section, but for the moment it's able to hold what I would put in it and I'm just trying to create enough hangers to reduce clutter. My four and a half plane doesn't quite fit, but I had planned for this. Just checking to see how much jostling these can take before they try to fall. They appear to be pretty stable. The last big idea I had for this wall was a cabinet with a small section of granite countertop I had received. The countertop is fairly heavy, so I'm taking care to use a lot of support material, but also not enough care to pre-drill any of these screws. Or these. I'm getting to the bottom of my stack of sheet goods scraps, so I'm arranging everything to stretch out what remains. I'm adding these spacers to support the back of the cabinet, as I'm going to screw it into the wall studs for additional stability.
It's not a rated surface plate, and I wouldn't try using it for anything precision. I don't really even do anything that would necessitate that. However, it's still a great workstation for things that I need to do that I'd want to avoid doing on a wooden surface. I've made plenty of messes sharpening planes or chisels, and I'd like to get back into prop making, so that could mean wet sanding or airbrushing something. Um, all these things spread a lot of liquid around, and that's not something I'll have to worry about on this cabinet space. At some point, I plan to add drawers, but for now the focus is getting enough working storage to reduce clutter and make space for the last few shop infrastructure improvement projects. I'm still ruminating on different storage hangers, but I think I've run a good gamut thus far. If I come up with anything interesting, I'll maybe make a small one-off video for it. But for now, I've just taken another step toward a more usable and neater shop space.